Hello. I am going to be answering the question, what has been the most important piece of advice for me, timer, it's right there, for personal growth. Something that I've really carried with me for many years, from like 10 or 15 years. But this is my new channel, so I want to start off by saying, before answering that question, by saying what my channel is going to be about. Basically, I'm going to treat this as a video log. So I'm going to talk about whatever I feel like talking about. I'll probably do a lot of self-help type advice and my opinions on different things, my experience living on SSI, uh, living with mental illness. Who is someone with mental illness living on SSI to give advice to somebody else? I, I would answer that by saying there was a couple who at the time of speaking, they were born again believers and con conservative and all that stuff that at one time they had some serious problems in their relationship. They, everybody basically told me, y'all need to get a divorce. But they didn't want to get a divorce. So they went to therapy to work on their relationship. And uh, they said our therapist was shacking up and he told them to get a divorce too. And they insisted and they said, we're not going to get a divorce. And we want you to show us how to make our marriage work. And he did. So anybody can learn from anybody. So, many of the people that I grew up around have committed murder, were murdered, are in prison. So, having been able to avoid crime, I've, I've been institutionalized in mental hospitals twice, briefly, and in, in future videos I'll talk about that. But having been able to reach a level of stability is an achievement for someone who has lived really a, a psychologically and emotionally tortured life as I have lived. So to not be on the streets, I've lived, I lived in a homeless shelter for a year and a half. I was kicked out on the street, but fortunately did find a place immediately with uh, a younger, with my siblings, uh, way back like 15 years ago or something. So, having lived where I'm living at now for six years plus, having lived in my previous address for six years to the day, moved in, moved out six years to the day, and then moved in here, is stability. So to have that level of stability and to not be on drugs and to have worked, Social Security disability allows people to go back to work. They have to report their income and depending on where they are at uh, in their working, as long as they're turning in all their, in their earnings, they'll either keep all of their SSI, part of their SSI, or, their, or they'll use it all. They'll, use, they'll lose all of it. So that's sort of this transition going back to work. So I've done that many times and I'm so blessed and I thank God and I thank, quite frankly, the social programs of this country that when I went back to work and I, I had a mental breakdown, a relapse into my mental health that I was able to just have the, the SSI reinstated, it's a blessing because I would be on the street right now if it wasn't for that. So I do believe and am convinced that I have some stuff to offer. Anything that I say, ultimately, it's my opinion. It should be taken with a grain of salt. But if there's someone out there who listens and hopefully finds this entertaining or can choose to pick some little tidbit out of what I say and maybe it helped make their life better in some way, then that would be great.
I don't know if I mentioned this already. I do plan on doing a series on listening. What is listening? How does one listen? What are some of the tools of listening? How is it that listening has the power of life and death in its hands? Listening don't have hands, but how is it that it has the power of life and death? So I'd like to do that. I have notes and I've, I've presented this before and people told me, you need to you need to share this. You need to go to Toastmasters or something. So I never did, but hopefully I'll do that here in the future because it's, it's, it's a bit of work. I, I looked over my notes and I don't want to jump into that now. I just want this to be an intro. So in order to stay out of prison, stay, out, stay off of drugs, right? I have no, very little to no drug history, thank God. But to have attained the level of stability that I have now, living with mental illness, the, mo the most important and certainly one of the most important principles that I've learned is that daily growth, it is a lifetime process. It never ends. It's, it's no different than us feeding our tummies. We don't eat a whole bunch of food and say, oh, I'm so, 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 so satiated that I never have to eat again. So what, I'm, what I've learned is that I really have to treat my mind, right, my mind, my heart, I need to treat it like I treat my stomach and I need to feed it every day. So I, for many years, did it through reading self-help book after self-help book after self-help book. I do mantras every day. I do positive affirmations every day. I do visualizations every day. It's, it's very difficult to be around people for me a lot of times. Just going to the store and shopping can be a huge challenge. Not being able to freely share about my mental illness is a big challenge. Knowing that a lot of people see people who struggle with mental illness and who are on the system, right? As people who don't really have an illness, people who just don't want to work, people who just want to take advantage, people who are able-bodied, mental illness isn't real, mental illness should not be taken as seriously as someone who has cancer, as someone who has heart disease or diabetes, something that at the very least, something that the very existence of won't be denied. And in the case of mental illness, there's people out there that just think that I'm not worthy to date, I'm not worthy to have a conversation with, I'm not to be taken as their equal. I mean, this is something that I deal with on a daily basis. I've learned that sort of to, to bear my burden alone and trudge through through life the best, to the best of my ability. Again, every day doing something to feed my brain, doing something to make me better because of that principle of personal growth is never ending. It's, it's, it's a day by day, each day thing. I'm, I'm looking at my timer because I, I looked at a million YouTube videos on like how to do YouTube and how to start YouTube and how to do AdSense and how to do all this wonderful stuff that is not easy at all for me to do. They said they need to be over 10 minutes. So I'm, I'm at 9 minutes and 17, 18, 19. <laughs> Sorry. And this here is my cell phone. My Obama phone. I'm grateful for my Obama phone. That's a good thing. And I have it stuck up to my mirror. The lens is facing me as I'm recording. So if you like this video or you found it entertaining in some way, shape or form, please um, like, subscribe, recommend, share, all that good stuff. I do, uh, if I'm able to do this correctly and get this uploaded and all that good stuff, I will be doing this regularly. I, I have every intention of doing, m my intention is to do once a, once a day, one video per day, but quite a few per week. 
and just share about myself and to continue to share and to continue to have a good time here and hopefully to entertain and hopefully to inform and, and to be helpful as well. So I thank you for having watched this and hopefully you've reached this point in my video. Best wishes.